Hey, it's Dave with the Spill Proof Podcast, and we're going to be starting doing reviews. And the first thing we're going to review is something that we've had for a little while, but now more than ever really has some uh, significant value to it. And what am I talking about here? Well, it is this. This is the Munchkin uh, 59S is what it's called. And what it is, is it's a UV sterilizer. Now, you have the sterilizers out there that you can use with water, um, microwave plug-in, uh, we've had all of them. This is really great because it's all electric, it's all UV light, and you can take it literally anywhere. So we're gonna check this out and uh, see how it works. So this is the Munchkin 59S. It is a UVC sterilizer that uses UV light to kill bacteria. Basically, you're sunburning the bacteria. It's the same stuff that comes out of the sun. Now, there's a newer version of this, which is the 59S Mini, uh, which really is only good for things like passies and really small things. Same thing, portable, but honestly, something like this is much better. It's just as portable, and uh, you can fit a lot more stuff in it. So this uses UV light to kill the bacteria, and it may or may not be good against COVID. UV lights technically can kill COVID bacteria in the air, but as far as on things, it seems to be a little unclear. Uh, right now, this is up on Amazon for sale. Uh, we're actually in the middle of Black Friday weekend, so this is the Black Friday pricing that we're looking at. But right now, it is for sale for $61.78 on Amazon, usually 100 bucks. Honestly, last time we bought this, which was about a year ago, we did not pay $100, I can tell you that. I want to say it was somewhere around 60 70 bucks, maybe. So, honestly, I don't think you'd be paying $100 for this. And even if it was, it'd still be worth it. It's really great for putting just about anything in it. Now, I put my phone in this. They do have phone ones. And I can tell you this, having two kids, phone gets nasty and grimy. I put it in there, and it definitely works. Now, this can be folded up. Uh, this is the only thing that I haven't been able to do because, I don't know, it just is super complicated. So this is the inside of it, what it looks like. Uh, it's got a little grate. It's got a 360-degree uh, uh, sterilization. You can see the little lights on there. Uh, those are the UV lights. And this middle bar right here is actually uh, a window, so you can see what's going on in it. Uh, when we use it, I'll actually, I'll actually show you that. Now, it clamps down with some really heavy-duty uh, magnets. Uh, there's one on each side here, and they hold it together really good. And also, I think when you close it up, too, uh, when you fold it up, it holds together uh, using those magnets as well. Uh, you can see the zippers on the side for that. Like I said, haven't been able to figure that out yet. Uh, but I think I maybe have to take the grate out. Uh, but see, you can see the little window right here. And when it's on, uh, you can actually see what's going on in it. Now, it comes with a battery pack. Uh, this is just like any other um, battery pack you might use with your... Uh, phone and honestly it's kind of nice now it, it's something to note that it only comes with the battery pack and the device there's no external cable there's no wall plug you really have to have something like that on your own to uh, use it like that o or even charge the uh, charge the battery so thought that was a little weird but honestly in today's uh, space of cords everyone has a cord around here now it does have the older version, um, so a lot of people have a USB-C. Uh, um, I want to say these are A, I believe, um, but it's the older version, kind of like what your old Android phones used to use, uh, very similar to that. Honestly, you probably have one of those cords laying around, and if you look on the back here, uh, there's actually a little plug here, and they have arrows to show you which side goes where, uh, just in case you don't know, because it's... Because USB-C, you can flip both ways. This can only plug in one way. Um, but you can actually tuck the battery back in there. And it's a really simple device to use. All you have to do is just tap the button, and it works. So one tap, it's five minutes in there. And if you want to, you can have it go a little bit longer. But like usually what we do is we'll do uh, a 10 minutes, so do it twice. Now, if I had planned this a little bit better... Uh, this battery pack would have been charged. However, um, I don't usually use the battery pack. We plug it into the wall. Uh, so I do have this anchor uh, battery pack here that I'm going to be using with it uh, just to plug it in and show you how it works without having to use the wall cord. This is a really good example, though. 
really any kind of power bank is going to be able to be used for this. And while it's running, it blinks. So that tells you when it's working. And then when it stops blinking, it's done. Like I said, it's a five minute process. Uh, if you want to run it through there twice, like flip something over uh, just in case, because I will say, even though it's 360 degree uh, sterilization, technically there's only lights on the top and bottom. The sterilization for the sides is actually just reflective and it's not even like a mirror. It's like this is just reflective material. So I do flip it around when I put stuff on there. Now this is what a view of what it looks like on the inside. You will notice it looks a little weird uh, on the camera, a little wavy. That's actually what's going on in it. But uh, you can see that it does work and it's that's what's inside it. Now one thing to note, you don't want to have your hand in there when it's on. Uh, it shouldn't come on when it's open. Uh, it should only be able to be turned on when it's closed. Uh, the UV light can be harmful and something you should definitely avoid any kind of skin contact with. Uh, but you can see here, got the battery pack all plugged in. And this is basically what it would have been if the other battery pack was charged. Uh, but unfortunately, it wasn't, but serves the same purpose here. So I'm going to give it a tap, and there you go. Now, this is my son's mochi. Uh, this is his lovey that he absolutely adores, and we typically have to put them in here and I say them because there's two, uh, because we actually bought him a backup, which he found and then proceeded to uh, have both. Uh, but he takes them to daycare a lot. So we want to make sure, especially with COVID, germs, RSV, um, we just want to make sure that they're clean when they come home. So um, typically we're always going to be throwing them in there and let it run. Typically we'll run it twice. Like I said, we usually run it once, five minutes, flip them and then run it again. So it's been five minutes, you can take them out, and as you will see, they look exactly the same. Doesn't hurt the stuffed animals, doesn't seem to wear anything. I have noticed on the phones, if you have a plastic screen cover, not a glass one, but a plastic one, it does degrade it over time. Uh, when I was working uh, during pandemic, uh, originally, uh, I washed my phone every single time I got home. And what happened is it started to actually peel the plastic off. But again, these are UV rays. Uh, they can cause damage just like fading, things like that. So uh, we haven't seen anything with these. Actually, the only reason why these look funny is that the one on the right has been washed and the, in, the, in the washer, and the one on the left has only been used on UV. So these actually used to be really fluffy, but you can use it on things like spoons, passies, toothbrushes. Those are really good if you, there's any germs. Uh, we use them on things like syringes for medicine, uh, just to make sure, especially, you know, if the kids are sick, we want to make sure that we get all those germs off. And another thing we use is, is on the masks. Uh, you can see here my daughter's mask and my dumpster fire mask, which I get a ton of compliments on when I do end up wearing it. Uh, whenever we go out, uh, but even putting masks in, you know, we still wash them. We, it's not like we don't wash them, but uh, we'll throw them in there in between just to make sure they're good and clean. And of course, you know, stuffed animals. So the size of this is about a little bit bigger than a, a shoe box. I want to say maybe a boot a box that boots come in. I put here a 12 pack of carbonated water just to show you like what the size was. Um, weight wise, it weighs like virtually nothing because it's just an empty box. But this kind of gives you an idea of how big it actually is, what you can fit in it. We haven't found anything that we needed to sterilize that we would take outside the house that we couldn't put in here or you know, we would either throw it in the, uh, the washer and dryer. Uh, but if it's pretty much anything, uh, we actually took it on a road trip here not that long ago and uh, put everything we could in it while we were driving um, cups passies phones uh, you name it in it up in there with the battery pack uh, we did hook it up to a bigger uh, power bank just so we could use it uh, through our 12-hour drive and 
it honestly was a lifesaver that and uh, being able to clean things on the go when you didn't have an outlet now there are obviously alternatives things like this uh, this is a baby Breeza. This thing's really awesome. It helped us kick milk tongue for our daughter. It's the reason why we bought it. This is a hundred dollars, so which is the reason why I didn't think we spent a hundred on the uh, the Munchkin. But you got to worry about things like plugs. You got to worry about things like wires getting tangled up into things, and you also have to have distilled water for it. So this is while it's great to have, it just it's kind of a lot. Um, you know, even at a hundred bucks, you know, call these the same price. This is great because, you know, you just throw it in there, you wait five minutes, and it's clean. It's super easy to use. Like I said, we've had ours for about a year now, and I think we use it, I want to say, at least once every single day, if not multiple times a day. And it's worked just as good as it did when we bought it. It doesn't seem to have dimmed. You know, it's got 21 different LED uh, UVC lights in it. So, I mean, it really is a quality item you know claiming to do a 99 percent which everything does for bacteria but it really is a great product uh that we really like and we got this uh before pandemic uh, again just while we had the kids taking things to daycare just because we were more concerned about rsv uh my son's got uh, a respiratory issue which causes them to be susceptible to that so we got this for that and Honestly, it really has worked as far as keeping germs out of the house and things coming home from daycare uh, as best as we possibly can. So it's a great product and, you know, it's, it's compact. We keep it right on the counter. It's got the little handles on it if you need to carry it and go places. And what's also nice is if you use the battery pack I don't remember if I mentioned this if you use the battery pack that comes with it there's a little pocket on the side where the cord comes out you can actually tuck it back there or if you use a smaller power bank uh, the power bank I was using was a little big to fit in that uh, but you can just kind of keep it all confined in there so it is almost like its own separate unit again it, you're, you're not going to take it to the zoo or um, you know into a museum if you need to sterilize something but it is still pretty portable. All right, well that was the review of the Munchkin 59S UV Sterilizer. As mentioned before, it is on sale right now for Black Friday uh, on Amazon. We found it at a really good deal. Uh, we paid full retail for this. Uh, as mentioned before, this isn't sponsored. This is literally just something that we have that we really like to use. Um, again, we had an episode a while back that uh, we went over some of the top and least uh, favorite things of kid products. I don't remember if this one made it on there, but honestly, if it didn't, it really should have because for the value, this thing is fantastic. Thanks for listening. And uh, hey, this is YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you later.